substituting values into formulas today, manipulating some formulas. Um, that's what we want to do today. We want a variable or one of the variables isolated or by itself on um, most of the time on the left hand side. Okay. So these are our learning intention and success criteria. So we'd probably see some of the practical uses of um, algebra with this one, because then um, that's when we would be using them for measurements. So just like with measurement um, formulas that um, we would be using, right? So this would be a useful skill for that. Okay, it says the formula for the circumference of any circle is C equals 2 pi R. We've learned this in year eight, right? Um, when we uh, talked about measurements or perimeter, right? Or what we call the length around a shape. But since a circle is not a polygon, what we call that special term for the length around that shape, around a circle, is circumference. Now, how do we figure out the um, length of that circle, of that um, length around that shape of that circle? Um, is if we would be multiplying two to pi to the radius. Okay, so if we have a circle of radius seven centimeters, we can find the circumference as how we just replace um, the given radius, which is seven. So we go two times pi times seven, um, which is two times seven is 14, 14 pi. So this is in terms of pi, and this is in terms of a, um, an approximated value to the nearest centimeter. OK, so this means that around this shape, if this length here is seven around this shape, if you've got a um, string that you um, put around that shape and you extend that, then that means that length of that string would be approximately 44 centimeters. Now, this is not our task, but what if what we're asked is the other way around. So it's the undoing that mostly um, what gets us confused, right? So just like this one here, suppose that the circumference is increased by six. How do we find the new R or this one? How do we find the radius? Okay. Remember that um, pi is a constant, right? So there would be a relationship between your circumference and your radius, okay? So what we've done here is that uh, since the radius is seven, um, we were able to figure out what the circumference is, it's 44. But this time, what we are asked or what we were told is that this time from 44 centimeters of a circumference, it now became what it's increased by six so now it's 50 because 44 plus six is 50 centimeters so that's our circumference what we're asked now is that what's our radius that's the question okay so what we want to do would be to use that formula two times pi times r right but then what we want would be instead of C by itself, instead of C by itself, we want R by itself, okay? So how do we um, have R by itself? We want to get rid of the two, we want to get rid of the pi. So if we look at our learning intention it says, um, perform the inverse operation. So what we want to do, so this means it's two times pi times R, what we want to do is to do the reverse What's the reverse of multiplying? We want to divide, okay? So we want R by itself. We want to get rid of the two and the pi. We want to divide this by two pi. And because we want to keep it balanced, then what we do on the right side would have to do onto the left side, yeah? So now we can cancel these. And what we're left on the right side would be R. And on the left is C over 2 pi. Now, what we want when we are um, solving an equation is that 
we want r by itself and that r that variable um, would need to be on the left side so what we do we just swap them around r equals c over 2 pi okay want to do here firstly we would have to be doing it one at a time so we want to minus m and then minus m here right and on the left side you get y minus m equal to kx yeah and then what kx means k times x and we want to divide by k by by k yeah and therefore we've got x equals y minus m over k but to do here would be to have x by itself or make x as the subject um six y plus one equals seven x minus two right so again what we want to do would be to make x as the subject and we've got 6y plus 6 equals 7x minus 14. Yeah. And then what? We want to get rid of the minus 14. Doing the reverse is adding 14. We add 14 here. We add 14 there. We want to align the constants together. And therefore, we've got 6y plus 20 equals 7x. And then what? We want x by itself. So we want to divide both sides by 7. And therefore, we've got 6y plus 20 over 7 equals x. And just to make our x on the left-hand side, we just swap them around. So we say x is 6y plus 20 over 7. OK. All right. Um, let's have another example here. Example 3. We've got g equals 6d minus 3. And as you can see there, we want d by itself, right? So you could highlight which one you want to um, make as a subject. Um, we want to get rid of the minus three by adding three, because that's the reverse of minusing three. And therefore, we've got g plus three equals 60. 60 means six times d. Divide everything by six. And therefore, you say d is equal to g plus three over six okay and let's have the last one there we've got a equals v when you write your letters just make sure that you write them clearly sometimes when you write v and u they look the same maybe when you write u you write it with a tail so it doesn't look like a v right the same thing with the t you write with a tail so that it doesn't look like a plus, okay? So you want what? V by itself, you want uh, to make V as the subject. Yeah, so you want to get rid of the T first by multiplying both sides by T and therefore the times T times by T. And so that cancels out and your left side becomes a times t or t times a or just a t equal to v minus u, right? And you want to get rid of the u by adding u. And we have a t plus u equals v or that it's v equals a t plus you. 